Hello YouTube and welcome fella diecast enthusiast. Today, today we have a really awesome 1958 Plymouth Fury from American Muscle. This is an Ertl cast, casting. Uh, these are quite old. Ertl is E-R-T-L. And this was her American Muscle line. There's some info on the back. I'm trying to find a year. If somebody sees a year anywhere, comment it down below because I am not seeing one. Oh wait, 2000. So, 2000, the Ertl Company, E-R-T-L. If you're looking these up, and as far as I know, these are the only die cast vehicles that had opening hoods and an opening trunk. And I think the battery died in my turntable. I must have left it on. So. Oh, let me pause and put a battery in. Alright, we're back and it's definitely spinning quite a bit faster. Let's go ahead and crack this open. And wait until you guys see the detail on this thing. If you've never seen... An Ertl casting. Now they also did model cars, I think, and they did larger than 164th. Although these are put together a lot like a model. Don't have no exposed rivets or nothing on the underside. It's covered up with the gas tank and an oil pan and stuff. You actually got front chassis parts, which are all separate pieces. All these are all separate pieces, just like a model kit. Do have rubber tires. Then your bumpers and everything are all separate pieces. The headlight, I think even that ornament. I don't know, that might be casted in. Awesome detail under the hood. Then the trunk would always have either a spare tire or luggage and you get a license plate just awesome awesome detail hard to believe this is 22 years old but definitely worth picking up these old ones figure green light came out six or eight years after these came out i think green light came out in like 2006 7 i know it was out in 2008 because i have cars from then that are really early castings I guess we can show a Hot Wheels Plymouth Fury I have. That's a super treasure hunt. We'll put it up here next to the Ertl. Really comparable in size. I mean, they're really comparable in size. Of course, the Ertl is way more detailed, but got the TH logo right there. This is a really old super treasure hunt. This might be from 2012, 2014. And then... 
This would have been the treasure hunt variation. So back in this era of super treasure hunts, the treasure hunt matched the super treasure hunt. Just it did not have uh, real riders or uh, Spectra Flame paint. And this one, Champion DJK put headlights in it, but the battery's dead. So, but Champion DJK, the, that's why this one has real riders. He added uh, headlights to it and real riders to it for me. So, really cool. I'm gonna have to change the battery in it. But the star of the show is definitely this hurdle. Does not have opening doors, so. But I almost rather it have an opening trunk and hood than opening doors. A lot of times a door seam is horrible or they don't close even and it's crooked or just really, really hard for the company to get 164th opening doors correctly. Uh, Hot Wheels even struggles really bad with it. M2 definitely struggles with it. But let me know down in the comments what you think of the Ertl castings, if you have any of them in your collection. Uh, I don't think they made a whole lot of the Ertl American Muscles. Uh, maybe at the most, 10 different castings. And they all came out in a handful of different variations. Some come on a blister pack like that. Some come in a box like an M2. So let me know down in the comments what you think of this. I'm definitely happy to add it to the collection. Anytime you can pick up an Ertl for under 20 bucks, I think it's well worth it. And you can see they've held up really good over the years. Uh, haven't had an issue with like bad paint pill or anything uh, sometimes with older die cast you got to watch out for that so comment down below what you guys think of it uh, like always like subscribe leave comments and have an awesome day